life of a crawfish. With spring coming around, it's time for it to come out of its long winter slumber. And as it crawls through the water, wait, what's this? Oh no, it's been captured and being used as a fishing bait. Hold up, you mean to tell me that this is actually a really realistic crawfish bait called the Mega Bass Sleeper Crawl? With spring in full swing, the fish at my college are pushing shallow, and one of the favorite foods of these Berthas are crawl dads, which I will be mimicking today. I got him, I got him, I got him. So I don't know if this is a good thing or not, but the Weather Channel just issued like a tornado warning for this area. What do I do with that information? Do I stop and go back? Pfft, no, because here in Virginia, spring is full swing. You see all that pollen right there? That means the fish are starting to bite. But our verse of the day comes from Ephesians 6, 7. Serve as if you were serving the Lord, not men. Now this was addressed to the servants of back in Jesus's time, like 2000 years ago, but we can take that and still apply it to modern day. For example, if you are volunteering at an animal shelter or helping a friend with homework, do all things for the glory and unto God himself. Hey, I mean, next time you're picking out the backlash for your friend, just think about that. Now here's the thing, although I am starting off at this dock, do you see how windy it is out here? Well. If it gets really bad and we're not catching anything here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a hike in the woods. From there, I should be able to encounter some big old spawning fish. We're trying to keep it as simple as possible. I got one crawl already tied up, it's the red one. This is made out of some like elastic material, so it's stretchy and it floats, sort of. There is a weight in here. But if we happen to break it off, we do have a second Mega Bass sleeper crawl. Last week, I built a spring tackle box 2.0, took it on the Yintin 2.0 with my buddy Chesden and Brandon, and we didn't do as well as we thought. Now, Chesden, he caught like maybe five fish during the day, and the biggest was like a five pounder, so go figure. But we ourselves didn't end up landing a single thing. And so that's why we out here bank fishing because that's kind of like my forte. That's my specialty. That's what I grew up doing. I just finished doing so much homework today. I'm just ready to take a cast. Right in front of me is one of the biggest perks about my specific college. It's the fact that we have a private lake. Second thing is also the community. I love all my friends. Oh, the wind. Oh. Chill out, chill out. Ah. Yeah, we might need to move into the woods. But let me take a cast on this tree. Boom. They really love this red color during the springtime. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. It's not supposed to be this windy. It's actually not supposed to. Wow, it's so clear. I can see like 10 feet out. I'm gonna take one last cast and then we're moving into the woods. I, I can't do this. Also, just standing in one place kind of makes me a little bored. All I'm letting it do is just sink down to the bottom. I'm just hopping it, imitating a real crawfish. Oh, oh, I thought I had one. Okay, yeah, we getting out of here. I am feeling a little under the weather, not gonna lie. I think I might be developing a cold or something. So I thought I might as well film a video early on in the week so then you guys can have something to watch. This is the path, it's kind of sketchy if you don't know what you're doing. And trust me, it gets even worse later. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments, when you get sick, do you still go out and fish or do you take time off? But there is this little cove right here that mm, might produce something. Now I don't recommend that any of you guys do what I am about to attempt today. Always go out with like a friend or something uh, if you're gonna try this. But there's this sunken log right here. And my thought process is, hey, if I can get on here, I can have a pretty good casting spot uh, towards the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, now if I fall in, that would not be fun because it's quite cold still. Whew. Ah, all right. Oh, we made it. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, do not try this. This is very silly. Like, look at that. See how it's just about to come off? So um, next spring, I probably won't be able to do this anymore because this log would probably be totally decomposed. But let me bring this crawl out. So the neat feature is that this is supposed to be weedless, but I'm not gonna lie, it does get caught on things. However, if you run your hand through it, the hook is sort of hidden, but it's kind of just underneath if you can see that. Let me just swing this out. There, boom. I'm fully expecting that things could go wrong, especially with this wind. It might just knock me off of here. Another cast. 
Boom, we out there. Oh, that's really good. Well, as I'm balancing on this log, trying to make something happen, I have a fish. There he is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, buddy. No, no, he came off. He came off. He was swimming with it. That's crazy. Oh, I was, I was wondering like why my line was just darting across the water. But yeah, he, uh, that, that was a big one and he just popped off because this thing caught too many weeds. Well, as I'm trying to redeem myself, let's go over to the boat of the week at Angler's Choice. Today, it is a 2023 Ranger Z520R that I have actually fished on myself. Professional fisherman Marty Stone used to run this beautiful 21 foot fiberglass boat. It's tournament ready with all the graphs, trolling motor and a Mercury 250 with only 50 hours on it. Besides coming with a free boat cover and a $2,000 Bass Pro gift card, the fortunate person to own this will be able to hop on the water with Marty. And from experience, let me tell you that he will put you on some fish. And I am personally really bummed out that we missed that big one. Sheesh. I cannot describe to you how nice of a run that was. He went from all the way this way to here. And I was like, wait, that's definitely not the wind because it's blowing this way and my bait's moving this way. Now there are PB caliber fish in this lake. So far, I've only caught like maybe a 4.5 pounder out of here. And my PB is like seven pounds, but my friend Will has caught like an eight pounder here. So yeah, he's kind of built different. The downside of a bait like this is that you will find it is kind of challenging to detect a bite. It's weird. It's not heavy enough to where you'll feel contact with the bottom, but it's also not light enough to where you can just use it like a weightless bait. How's our buddy doing? I mean, yeah, he looks pristine. For the most part, yeah, that was user error, but at the same time, you'll find a lot of reviews online saying like these things slay them, but they do get caught on everything. However, it is good because the second color is a dark color, which is perfect for cloudy days like this with no sun. However, I might be cooked if I lose this thing too. I'm gonna set you guys like next to this tree looking down at me because I don't want to like spook whatever fish is on this bed right here. Ooh, this is a big one, and he's just looking at it. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Nice. Let's make our way down this way. <clears throat> okay, we're in. Now, all I need to do, make some casts out there. And he should eat. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. I, oh, he came off. He immediately snatched it up, and then he popped off. Bro, this bait actually is selling. <laughs> no way. Okay, take another cast. Boom, fling it out there. No, I'm snagged again. And I see the bass right here. No, please, I can't, he's snagged again. I can't do this. I actually am running out of crawfish. Like, this is so bad. I need to check my bag real quick. I'm just gonna let that sit in there because if I don't have any other baits, I'm really cooked. Oh, thank the Lord, I do have baits. However, this is a big bummer because like I was actually wanting to uh, utilize these crawfish, man. They're getting bites like crazy. But the only downside is mm, I keep on snagging them. They're just like, if I was on a boat, it would be perfect. I think I might've lost this one. Let's see if we can pull it out. Well, that's kind of like the end of my time with them because just broke off both of them. I don't understand how somebody is capable of doing that so quick. I've been fishing for like an hour and both of my baits are gone. However, there is grace because we have worms still. That right there, I can already tell you I keep everything real on this channel. I'm not just gonna go ahead and catch a fish and then pretend like I caught it on the sleeper crawl by editing it magically. So being straight up with you guys, they are a little bit pricey, but they get bites. I try and keep everything on this channel super authentic. And so when I say you don't need one of those fancy mega bass 
crawls to catch anything, I mean it, okay? And this is actually more weedless too. So I think it's just the biggest win ever. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. He's big, he's big. Oh, that's good. He's so good, he's good, he's good. Easy, oh dude, he is destroying me right now. I need to get down, I need to get down, I need to get down. Come on, this way. He's a big one, he's a big one. He's got so much power. No way. Yes, that. So what we spent the whole day doing. That's like a three pounder. Oh, God. Barely hooked too. God is good. Right after that rainstorm, he came and ate it. So that is living proof that you do not need $10 sleeper crawls to catch him. Come on, buddy. Swim away. Praise the Lord. Wow. <laughs> These guys fight so hard. It's unbelievable three pounder to start off today not bad however i'm gonna go back to the very first cove i was at where i lost that giant there's a bass on a bed right here let's see if we can get him he looks even bigger actually i know i already caught your cousin but let's see if you want it too this one kind of dwarfs the other one which was a three pounder <sighs> we're gonna try something this one big bedding bass is not eating at all so we might just have to switch up the presentation a little bit. These flatworms, whew, dangerous. Oh, that's so big. Y'all, I'm not wasting time right now. This is so worth it if we can get him. Believe it or not, this is probably one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made on this channel. And yes, I've made a lot of them. But I spent the next two hours trying to get this one four to five pounder to eat. And man, oh man, do I regret it. Because not only did I not catch it, I didn't catch anything for the rest of the day because I ate up all the time on this one fish. So fast forward to now, it is the next day, I'm back again, and I'm more sick, so this is just great. But I got a secret weapon with me, and if this fish is still here, we might be able to catch him, or her, I, I don't know. I don't have much time because it's also starting to rain now. So as I'm fighting off this cold, let me just pull out some Berkeley gillies. Perfect at imitating a baby bluegill. Easily triggers these fish. Here we go. I don't even know if he's still here. I haven't seen him yet. But just because you don't see him doesn't mean they're not there. And man, this rain is so bad for us, especially since we're sick. Uh, do not do this, guys. If you're sick, just please stay at home and Relax, the fish are always gonna be there. I don't know why I was in such a rush to come out here. This is such a high risk day. I came out here with the one mission of catching this fish right here. If I fail, all this was for nothing. Yo, look how real this looks. I mean, how can you not eat this? Does that help? Does that make it worse? You wanna know what's really not that shocking? I spent another two hours trying to catch this thing. So, like a very smart person, this is day number three. And I'm back at the same fish. This is probably the most amount of commitment I've ever put into a single video. And I did make one little modification. I added one stinger treble hook in case he was short striking it. I am even more sick today, so like my voice is not where it should be. Oh well. Again, if you guys are fighting a cold or flu, do not go fishing. Just take the time to rest. However, I don't think I'm really setting a good example for y'all, am I? I got him, I got him, I got him. Come on, buddy, come on, buddy. Easy, easy, easy. No, 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 no. Oh, he's taking me under. He's taking me under so much. All right, come on, buddy. Come on, no, 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 don't go under the tree. Don't go under the tree. Come on out, come on out. No, she got off. She got off. All right, that's it. We're calling it there. <laughs> you, don't, you don't always get him. You do not always get him. She outsmarted me. Yeah, we're just gonna retire there. That was about five hours effort just to hook into her for her to break me off. God is good. Fish are always here. 
go out, enjoy it, and don't lose them like me.